Well, hey, this is uh, Bruce Duhan again. Um, the second of my videos. This one is going to be uh, a recording of my Lord plot. I didn't have it for very long before uh, all this happened. About a month or so that I've been working on it and doing different things. Uh, so let's fly in off the ocean and see what we got here. Real dramatic. I got creepers. So this is in general the outside of it. I didn't get a chance to finish it. There were going to be domes on each of these uh, uh, each of the turrets on the outside. And yes, the dome is dirt, but it was going to be turned into a combination of gold and diamond in the long run. So let's come in and take a look around. The main central area. with um, passages leading off to each of these rooms, which I never really got a chance to decorate. And uh, just look out areas here. Each um, separate building was going to house a different type of monster spawner, well at least three of them. Uh, from the outside, all this somebody coming by could see is uh, just a quartz wall. Uh, but then on the inside it was all glass so that each of the rooms had a visibility to each other and to the central area. The uh, exterior had a walkway that goes all the way around it with nice windows for the views and more creepers um, each of these rooms is going to have a spawner in the middle and some other things uh, with a walkway around each where I was going to hang paintings. And this whole thing's about what I was going to do, because I really just didn't have the time. Um, and I really do dig the uh, soul sand in this texture pack. So each room, each of the four quadrants has an internal walk around that leads in from the external. And there was going to be a whole upper area that would lead into a spiraling staircase with the wonderful domes on the towers. And that has been what I've been working on most over the last month or so. Um, I only get a couple hours a day to play, really. So that's the first part of it. And as we slowly fly down in, uh, we'll get down into what was going to replace all of the warehouses from the last video that I made. So down here underneath, Yeah, it's so big it goes past the chunk level. And I hadn't had a chance to finish this. But basically this will be a giant warehouse area. Which would be a combination of all... Uh, anything stored in any of the external areas, or it would have been. I guess I could call this the Miami Dolphins room. 
Uh oh. Got to put chests in there. And it comes around a different color scheme with more chests. I would, uh, it would make it a lot easier to know which area to go to to find certain things just based on the color scheme without having to have a whole bunch of signs. Um, I was going to have a large sculpture and water uh, waterfall and that kind of stuff that comes down from this is the main central area. Um, so, you know, more more chests. There's a total of 80 rooms uh, with 15 chests per room. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Which is like 1,200 and some chests or something. Um, so for the most part, one room would hold one type of item. Uh, except for, you know, the really common items. They would be uh, uh, grouped together, you know. This uh, central area, each one of each area here was going to be a separate room uh, with just a walkthrough. You know, so there'd be one type of items in here. Walkthrough. Uh, mostly, it was going to be ores and major tools, in extending from this side all the way to here, where the big middle area was going to be, and then another section. That's uh, four rooms per side, eight total. And this took quite a bit... Uh, quite a bit of work to get all of this uh, carved out. You can see behind the scenes, since I hadn't filled it all in yet, um, how the rooms were set up. And a nice little chest of working materials, trying to get it all finished. Of course, there's no point in finishing it now, but I'll get to do this all over again soon. Uh, and hopefully the next time it'll go faster because I've uh, been through this once already. And this goes around the whole outside. Um, this was this upper area here is going to be replaced with some other stuff and uh, a staircase that comes down. As it is now, all I can do is fly up and down and between them. Um, I had built the mountain. As I was excavating all of that out, I was dumping all of this stone over here to build a mountain to separate myself from this town, which is no more. Um, because I hated looking at it. That's just me. And so, this was my Lord plot. Um, I wanted to have a sort of a rough hewn, like, carved out of rock feel to it. So down here I had a combination of cobblestone and stone to make it look like, you know, the walls were uh, carved out of what was a mountain kind of feel. Um, I put quartz behind here there was eventually going to be lights in here so that anybody just off this side looking in would have a lit white background to see a total stone bottom and then carved stone on top um, I didn't really like the trees I mean in a sense I did but there were too many of them because this was really originally going to be another nature walkway and I was going to replace all these trees with just flowers and bushes. And then come in and look at paintings as you walk around. And that's about it for my Lord Plot. Um, so I hope you all dug it. It was fun to build. This is what I do because I don't PvP. Um, 